So here is our takeaway for today, the essence of gospel, that is, his testimony is true. John saw that when Jesus was pierced, blood and water flowed out of him. Interestingly, John relates this happening to the scripture. They looked up to him who had, whom they had pierced. How are they connected? What does John communicate to his readers? Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10, it says, And I will pour out a spirit of the compassion and the supplication on the house of David and inhabit of the Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for us, an only child, and weep bit bitterly over him, as one weeps over our firstborn. Okay? So please pay attention to, I will pour out the spirit of the compassion and supplication, and they look on the one whom they have pierced. The later part of this scripture is interpreted in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even though he pierced him and on his account all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. So this is about, I mean, the, the uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 describes about the second coming of Jesus to what will happen in the last days. Jesus will come to the world for the final judgment as king of kings and lord of lords. At that time, all people, believers and unbelievers alike, will see the glory of Jesus as God and the king. At that time, those who don't believe Jesus as God and Christ, and those who have denied him, will see his glory as God and more. Why didn't I believe in Jesus, although he was so wonderful? Why didn't I reject him? Why didn't I love him? This lament was like that of the parents, grieving over the baby of their young, the body of the young children who has died and will ever took back, will come back, saying, oh, I should have listened to him more and spent time with him more. I should have loved him more. It is a pain and sorrow for which no amount of regret is enough. And God promises to pour out the spirit of compassion and supplication. When John saw the blood and water flowing from Jesus, who was pierced, John exclaimed and touched with amazement. I saw with my own eyes that Jesus was the one who was pierced 
and the promise of speed of compassion and supplication was actually poured out before my eyes. So John telling us, I have seen it. I have seen it. I saw it. Jesus was pierced. That he is the one. Don't grieve before Jesus is, before in the last days. But you will not be able to repent. But look at him now. Look at him. The king, the glorious, victorious one. Look at him. The one who lifted up on the cross. And grieve your sins and repent now. Turn from your sins and accept this one as your Lord, your Christ, your King, your God. Now. Before it is too late. Believe him because this testimony is true. So John saw that the redemption, the salvation, grace, the truth, the Holy Spirit, a new life. Yes, new life began to flow from Jesus who had died on the cross. And he, that John gave testimony. This is God's promise. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. For I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. Hallelujah. So by the grace of the cross, one can be reconciled to God through faith. Only through the gospel of the cross can we make the Holy God our God and have loving, living fellowship with Him. So through the cross of Jesus, we are completely freed from the slave of sin the fear of death and dominion of the devil. Through the cross of Jesus, we are transformed and live a new life as ones who represent the glory of God. Through the cross of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is poured out abundantly and the fruits of the holiness, the righteousness, repentance, forgiveness, the praise and the ministry of the, the evangelism that please God are produced. Grace at the 